It was like an idea all of a sudden. This is going to be the story of a child who was going to sue his parents. And by suing the parents, he's suing the whole system for, for giving him life, for bringing him into this life without giving him his most basic rights. So it was very important for me that the characters are almost living the same situation, especially the kids. You cannot ask a child to just make believe uh, the suffering that he's living in or or invent uh, that, uh, uh, how do you say, that anger uh, in him or I had to find a child who was living and, and especially the children who are living the same situation. Uh, in real life, Zain is a Syrian refugee. He's been living in Lebanon for the past eight years in very difficult circumstances. That is very similar to the film. Uh, Zain has grown up on the streets, so he knows the violence of the streets. He's never been to school. He worked from time to time, like small jobs. Uh, the difference is that he has loving parents. During the research process, I used to see a lot of kids. We saw hundreds of kids. I used to ask one question at the end of the conversation, which, which is, are you happy to be alive? And most of the times, the, the, the answer would be no. I'm not happy to be alive. I, I wish I was dead. I don't know why I was born. I wish I was never born. Those kids don't even have any value. Nobody ever told them, you're important to me. I am celebrating your birthday. So it was all for me a way of translating this, this anger. That's for me, the most important subject we can ever work on, because this is how it starts. I truly believe that evil in the world, the source of evil in the world is neglected and mistreated and abused childhood, unloved childhood. That's it. Uh, you, 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 we need, we need, 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 to, need to work on childhood in general if we want to really make a change in the future. And we have to acknowledge, the, you know, those thousands and millions of of children that are angry. They're very angry, and it's going to explode in our faces one day. They're going to grow up, uh, and they are growing up with a lot of anger, a lot of hate. Wh what are they going to do with this hate? I truly believe in the power of cinema. I truly believe that cinema, cinema can actually humanize the problem. And sometimes we can talk about certain problems in, in an abstract way. Uh, we feel like, you know, we, we talk about it in numbers, in figures. It's somehow an abstract problem that we don't really comprehend. So, so we're not really involved in it. We don't identify in it. But when, when you see it, when you give it a face in a film, you see the struggle. You see real people struggling. You see real people... Um, suffering from their situation, it's a completely different approach. But I feel the need personally to use it in order to really make an impact on the viewer.